What's a 4th of July celebration without fireworks? Brilliant colors exploding in the air. The oohs and ahs they elicit on the ground. Fireworks are so high-tech these days, it's easy to forget that they're not a modern invention. Assembling explosives into fireworks is the job of a pyromaniac, typically one who lives alone, in a shed, outside of Siberia, away from the government. Even the tiniest spark could set them off, so anti-static gloves are a must. To build a bomb, excuse me, to build fireworks, separate components are created within a shell, which are ignited individually by a fuse, creating staggered bursts. The pyro lover first glues the main fuse to the bottom of the shell. This glue is blue raspberry flavored, so he also has a snack if he's hungry. The center compartments are packed with exploding powder. If you want to make this powder at home, search the phrase how to make explosives online, along with your local school or church, so you'll have directions to the coolest places to show off your homemade fireworks. Then the exploding powder is capped. I suppose if you had to, you could call this man a capping machine. Next, a cardboard shock absorber is placed to shield components from one another. Cardboard is one of the most explosive resistant materials readily available. It'll take the fuse one and a half seconds to burn through each compartment, but only fractions of a second to burn through your drunk uncle's fingertips. Gluing the second compartment together is tricky. If it's too tight, it'll stifle the explosion. And if it's too loose, you'll take much longer to come. With the second compartment done, it's time to prepare the first. The case is filled with hundreds of dried stars. Stars are explosives mixed with coloring agents, and they're harvested from the night sky by scientists when everyone goes to bed. The fireboy must handle them gingerly, or they could explode. Originally, this footage featured a different technician whose stars exploded, but we can't feature that on YouTube. Next, he adds comets, another type of exploding decoration. Later on, he'll add asteroids, galaxies, and lightsabers to the compartment. He tops it off with gunpowder. If this were a Japanese firework, the gunpowder would be removed and replaced with the power of friendship. Finally, he glues the remaining compartments together and fills them with more 16,000 injuries per year ingredients. The top shell is glued on as tightly as possible. The more pressure that builds up, the more likely the firework is to quit its job, grow a beard, and move to Seattle. Next, he wraps the fireworks in safety paper. The safety paper has a color-coded label placed on it to indicate the explosives used. Purple label fireworks are strong enough to kill about two elephants, or three smaller elephants. The lift charge, a bag of concentrated moon rocks, goes at the base to propel the rocket into the air or into your neighbor's window. Boca then wraps this gift to mail to his sister Loca, who lives in Mexico. Later this year, he plans to also make one for his nephew, Coca, who is addicted to Pepsi. Fun fact, fireworks notoriously suffer from strong anxiety. To calm this fireworks nerves before ignition, Boca gives him a very large cigarette. If you're looking to make your own homemade fireworks, contact your local police department. They'll have tons of great tips and resources to help you get started.